Okay, let's look at the um, National Building Code, Alberta edition, um, section 3.4. Okay, so Alberta National Building Code, uh, Division B, Part 3, and we're going to look at section 3.4, which is about exits. And we're going to focus specifically on 342 here, the number and location of exits from floor areas. Okay, so if we look at this um, section here, right off the bat, um, when you read the first sentence here, it says, uh, under minimum number of exits, except as permitted by sentence two to four, every floor area intended for occupancy shall be served by at least two exits. So right off the bat, it's telling you, you need two exits in this building. The next sentence gets into situations where it says, um, well, you can do, you can do one exit if you meet certain requirements. Okay, and some of those requirements are you can't have more than sixty people in that floor area. You know, depending whether you're sprinkler or non-sprinkler, there's maximum room sizes, and it's based on the the use of that that floor area and these travel distances to the exit and so on and so forth. So there's, there's a bunch of parameters there that that will allow you to do one exit in some cases. Okay, so you could always check that on a building. But by and large, you know, if you're if you're designing a building, you're gonna you're gonna need two exits, and you know, again, depending on the size of the building, like it might be more than two. Like you will find in other sections that you might need three, you might need four, and, I, and it's based on a lot of parameters, like whether there's dead end corridors and travel distances and, and all kinds of stuffs. But but for now, let's just take a look at um, section three, four, two, two the distance between exits. So we've kind of already determined that, okay, we need two exits at least in this building. Okay, so let's now just read this part right here. And what it's really telling us is, okay, now that you've determined you need two exits, here's how far apart those exits need to be from each other. Because it's kind of pointless to have exits right beside each other. Um, if the intent is to, well, one of the intents is to ensure that you can um, have a choice between exits to go to. So if the fire is on one side of the building, you can actually go the other way to an exit. Um, you know, so if you had two exits right beside each other, you might as well just have one exit there. So the, the point is to get them a certain distance apart. So the code gets kind of specific as to how um, far apart they need to be. And again, this is just one influence of how far. It, again, travel distance and other things will influence that, but we'll just look at this for, for now. Um, so I'm going to draw a floor plan here. And we'll just assume this is like a second floor of a building. And I'm going to draw a stair on that end and a stair on that end so let's just say those are some stairs to get out of here and that's going to be our exits from the second floor and we'll look at we'll, we'll say there's a corridor here a public corridor okay so there's there's office suites here so maybe there's five office suites whatever it is now we'll go back to our building code here and read our first sentence except as provided by sentence two so we'll, we'll get to that Later. I don't even think we'll touch on that today. I want to cover the sentence one here. The least distance between two exits from a floor area shall be one half the maximum diagonal dimension of the floor area, but need not be more than nine meters for a floor area having a public corridor. Okay, so I just drew a floor plan with a public corridor. So let's just say that our diagonal dimension across this floor area is 40 meters. I have a public corridor. So the least distance between two exits shall be one half the maximum diagonal dimension of the floor area, but need not be more than nine. So back to this, half of 40, so the distance between exits, if we put a dimension in there, half of 40 would be 20 meters, okay? But reading that sentence, if you have a public corridor, which we do, then the distance between those exits, the minimum distance between those exits need not be more than nine meters. Now let's just back up here and let's just say that the, the, the diagonal dimension of the floor area is only, um, let's say it's, it's uh, 16 meters. Okay. If it's 16 meters, half the diagonal dimension is eight meters. So you go back and read this. One half the maximum diagonal dimension of the floor area but need not be more than nine meters. Okay, so we don't have to be more than nine meters, but we still have to apply 
the half. So it's not forcing us up to nine. We can still do the half the distance. So eight meters would be okay in that scenario. Now let's just back up to a floor plate that's got no public corridor. Okay, so let's just say this is an office space where um, there's no public corridor that a tenant's taking the entire floor. Now they, they still need to have adequate amount of exits. So we'll assume that they need two exits in this building. And again, we'll go back to the diagonal dimension being 40 meters in this case. And we'll go back to the code. We're going to read sentence two. So the, the least distance between two exits from a floor area shall be one half the maximum diagonal dimension of the floor area, but not less than nine meters for all other floor areas. So we're another floor area because we're a floor area that doesn't have a public corridor. So we're the other floor area. So one half the maximum diagonal dimension of the floor area but lot, not less than nine meters, okay? So we'll go back to our drawing here. We have 40 meters. So half that diagonal dimension is 20 meters, okay? Now in this case, because there's no public corridor, we have to be 20 meters apart. And if we just back up here and change this floor plate to be say our eight meters again, so let's just say, or sorry, 16 meters is the diagonal dimension. That would mean half of that would be eight meters. But let's read that sentence again. The least distance between two exits from a floor area shall be one half the maximum diagonal dimension of the floor area, but not less than nine meters. Okay, so again, we don't have a public corridor, so we're the other floor area. And now we can't be less than nine meters. So going back to our plan, if this was the building, eight meters is not good enough. You now have to go up to nine meters, not less than nine meters. And that's uh, what section 34231 is telling you.